Welcome to the Access Coverage Shapes video tutorial. Developed exclusively for Access partners, the Coverage Shapes help you create optimized video surveillance solutions for your customers. Download the Access Coverage Shapes Visio stencil from Access Communications partner pages and put it in your My Shapes folder. For this example, we will be using the metric version, but a US unit version is also available. Then open your Microsoft Office Visio drawing. To get started, open the stencil. If you haven't previously run any Access applications, you will get a security warning. Choose Trust All from this publisher to avoid this message in the future, or choose Enable Macros for this session only. You now have access to a set of coverage shapes, each representing a different access camera. There are also generic shapes, giving you the opportunity to design without using specific camera models. First, let's add a fixed network camera to our design. We'll go for the Axis P1344. Simply drag the symbol from the stencil to the drawing. The camera's field of view is now visualized in blue. Detailed information is displayed in the text field. The range indication, the thick blue line, marks the area in which the specified pixel density is achieved. In this example, 180 pixels per meter. For our design, we want to change the pixel density to 100 pixels per meter. Right-click, select Edit Shape Data, and enter the new value. Note how the range indication changes. The pixel density at the far end of the camera's field of view is stated in the text field as minimum resolution. A covered shape comes with three different handles. One for repositioning the text field, one for changing the focal length, and one for tilting and turning the camera. Let's take a moment to look at the logic behind a covered shape. For each camera in your design, you can set a minimum object height, a maximum object height, and the height at which the camera is mounted. This is all done in the Edit Shape Data dialog. When you change the size of the coverage area, the camera's tilt is automatically adjusted. If mounted high, the camera is tilted to keep the maximum object height within the coverage area. If mounted low, the camera tilts to follow the minimum object height. You can modify a number of things on a covered shape. For example, if you select horizontal field of view visualization, the field of view is shown more traditionally, not taking the camera positioning, camera angle, or object height into account. Selecting access corridor format makes the camera rotate 90 degrees. You can also set the scale in which the camera symbol is displayed. Let's add a PTZ camera to our design, the Axis Q6034. Since we now have more than one camera, we will assign them individual names. To further distinguish between the two cameras, We'll let the PTZ's field of view be displayed in purple. For PTZ cameras, you also have the possibility to switch complete coverage view on and off. Among the coverage shapes, you will find the Access Product Listing feature. Drag this into your drawing to get a list of the cameras included in your design. Should you add or delete a camera, update the list by right-clicking and choosing Update. Right-click a covered shape and select List All Cameras to create a copy of the product list. Your design can be saved and viewed in different formats. 
Access Coverage Shapes not only makes design easier, but also helps you present your video surveillance solution to customers in a professional and engaging format. We hope you will find the Access Coverage Shapes useful.